Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Rams of the Southside Connor video and uh, we're back with something a little bit different today. A contentious incident which involved Jeremy Simpson and the FA's ruling on Pontus Janssen and Sergi Canos. We're going to delve into it a little bit more, talk about the FA, try and get an analysis on what we've been given as a group, as a fan base, as a club. <laughs> The FA is a member of both UEFA and FIFA, which is responsible for the laws of the game. So, what you've got to understand about the game is that Brentford and Leeds was sort of like a contentious affair. And there were certain decisions that we felt as Leeds United fans that went against it. So, referees do have a tough job. And we know they have a tough job, but officiating is a part of the game. And what we've got to understand as football fans is that referees might get it wrong. But what you've got to do as a sporting body at the end of each game is if a referee has got something wrong, you can then make decisions on that matter. Now, throughout the game, we had decisions that went against us, and there was certain decisions that went against Brentford as well. It was a poor refereeing display. We saw the likes of Luke Aylin get booked, Klitsch get booked. We saw three or four Leeds players go in the book, but there was a fair few instances that the match officials did miss. It wasn't just the penalty decision that went wrong for Leeds it was multiple multiple decisions that were going wrong it was the little decisions that were going in Brentford's favor and I've seen it on Twitter as well a lot of people have been saying that if you are in that big game environment do you actually go against the home crowd? The game needs to be consistent. And if the sports governing body isn't ruling a game in an equal manner, then that's an unfair game. You can understand why a match official misses a chance. They miss a foul, they miss a penalty. The Ollie Watkins penalty wasn't a penalty, but you can understand to an extent where the officials missed that penalty decision. And we have seen that in other games, such as Unano Kane, if we're referring to Leeds at Ipswich last season, where Unano Kane has gone out of his way to to headbutt a player. That is an offence. That should be dealt with by the referee. And if it's not dealt with by the referee, it should be dealt with by the sports governing body after the game. Sergi Kanos has already been substituted. Alioski has got the ball. There's been a bit of a fracas between him and the assistant manager. But maybe the referee hasn't seen what's gone on with Kanos. But after the game, what the FA do and what the FA have done by looking at this instance, they have to review it. They have reviewed the instance with Sergi Kanos and Alioski and they have turned around and said that is not that requires a fine or a ban now what Sergi Canos has done is he has gone out of his way to inflict damage on an opposition player now the fact that the officials they as a unit haven't come together and said that is worth a fine or a ban Leeds have been dealt with a hand last season of Union O'Kane three match ban and a large fine yet Sergi Canos has gone out of his way in something arguably that is worse and there's been no repercussions for that you have the football association a governing body they're advocating this they're just letting it slide so players are going to think it's going to be acceptable the referees panel let's get it straight is made up of referees across the country referees who have refed in certain games so how can you not watch that back and then give a retrospective ban a retrospective fine i look at that as bias because when you gave union okane a fine last year and you gave him a three match ban which essentially affected our league position you are not giving the retrospective action to an opposition player that's doing the exact same to us so how do you expect us as fans to feel protected by you as a governing body they've come to ask leeds united for the footage <laughs> When Neil Marpe got in front of the fans, went like this, and the fans uh, threw stuff at him. So incitement's not been, not been. That's not a thing anymore. Apparently, I'm not saying the Leeds United fans were right in pelting things on the field, but Neil Marpe, he's not innocent in this. And then you move on to the incidents of Luke Ayling. Did Luke Ayling deserve two bookings? I probably think yes. In the heat of the moment, I didn't. But looking back at it retrospectively, which is what the FA should have done, Luke Ayling did deserve two yellow cards. On a badge, you should have also been sent off. Was the penalty a penalty? No, it wasn't. But when they went up to Pontus Janssen afterwards, Pontus gave them an interview after the game, told them exactly what he thought, and now the FA won exactly what Pontus has said and exactly what Pontus meant, so they can then subjectively assess what the fine and possibly the ban should be for Pontus Janssen. A celebration of a goal. A player must be cautioned for climbing onto a perimeter fence or gesturing or active in a provocative way. They are the FA guidelines, which is what Neil Morpé did. And that's the FA, everybody. Please like, comment and subscribe below, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>